What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sell put options using the Interactive Brokers trading platform. For those of you that may not know, Interactive Brokers is a very mainstream, very popular uh, stock and options broker out there today. Uh, they're available for traders and, and investors around the world. I personally use them and I love Interactive Brokers. So what I'm going to show you today is a few different ways that you can set up their trading platform and to just sell individual single put option contracts. I know I've been getting lots of questions uh, asking me to just do a quick video on how to sell put options using Interactive Brokers. So this is what we're going to do today. So sit back, relax, and let's go over it. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Lee Lowell, and I'm the founder of Smart Option Seller. That is our website. Our bread and butter is all about selling put options. And before we get into how to tr actually trade them at Interactive Brokers, I want to make sure that everybody can get a free copy of our Put Selling Basics ebook. If you go to our website, smartoptionseller.com, and you click on the Put Selling Basics header right here, you can get yourself a free copy of the Put Selling Basics ebook. Scroll down here and put in your name and email address, and we will send you an email that includes a link for the free copy. All right, so let's just get that out of the way. Now we're going to go back to the uh, platform. This is Interactive Brokers platform. And I'll also show you a little bit later on. If you don't want to use Interactive Brokers, we have a list of other brokers on our website that you can, well, I'll just give you a sample of some names that you can, you can try them out if you want. So stick around for that. So when you get into Interactive Brokers, if you've already opened up your account, let me move myself over here. Once you've opened up an Interactive Brokers account, you will be, um, I'd say, presented with a couple different ways that you can set up their platform. Now, I started with Interactive Brokers probably around year 2000, so I've been using them for you know roughly 23 years now. Um, back when they started, if you look down here at the bottom, there's a couple tabs down here. This tab right here, which is called Classic TWS. TWS stands for Trader Workstation. When, when Interactive Brokers first started, they only had this one Classic TWS setup. Okay, it's this, this old looking screen here. Sometimes I get, you know, some of my, my students, you know, make fun of me because I'm using this old school style of their platform. And the other versions are this mosaic that you see down here and option trading. I'm going to click on those tabs as well and show you. But it's all about selling put options today and how you do it at Interactive Brokers. So I'm going to walk you step by step a couple different ways for you to set up the platform to sell an individual put option contract. Now, if you're using the classic TB TWS like I do, this is how you do it. Let me go step by step. So this is when you open up the platform, you're going to get hit with a, a blank screen here. I obviously have a couple uh, tickers in here already. And along the top here, you can create as many tabs as you want. They will open up to different um, screens where you can put in different tickers and you see this little plus sign here if you click on that it will create a new tab one of these you'll have to give it a name and it'll look just like this okay I'm not gonna do that now because we have a bunch here already so we're gonna go back and you can name it anything you want so in my first tab here I just have it named quotes and let's start the process of how to set up uh, a, a put option contract that you can sell and at least watch it it'll give the the price of it so you can track it during the day so we're going to use apple as our as our an example here and so when you when you when you're in this this window here this is the 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 quote screen just click on a line here and, and it'll bring up this white space here and you just click in the ticker we're going to use apple in this case it's a l a a p l and once you type it in you hit enter and it's going to bring up this long list of 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 choices of apple that you can choose from now we always want to put in the stock first and the stock is going to be the smart directed that's just the the exchange that um that interactive brokers will choose it's it's just giving you the best prices for that stock at that moment in time it's called smart routing okay if you're going to put in an order to buy or sell apple stock it's going to smart route it meaning it's going to send your order to the the stock or options exchange that gives you the best um, prices available. So here's uh, it, it opens up to the stock price. So this is Apple stock. Okay. So we always want to know the price of the stock before we trade options. That's just how it is. Okay. So if you want to now put in 
and get a quote for an actual option that you're interested in trading, you click again, align, you type in Apple symbol again, and you hit enter. And now what you're going to do is you're going to come down and click on this options uh, link right here. You just click it. And what it'll do, it'll, it'll bring up this other window right here where now you're going to choose the specific single or multiple option contracts that you want to put on this quote screen so you can see the price. So uh, here's some, the tabs. You know, these are all the expiration dates. It'll show the first couple if we expand the screen here. I can't, I guess it doesn't allow you to open the screen more. So here's the first three expiration months. If you click on this more, then you can click on some of the later expiration dates. We're going to just use May and we want to look at a strike price. Uh, we're going to look at the $100 put strike price. Okay. You got calls on the left, puts on the right. And here's the 100 strike. So all you have to do is click on the bitter ass price and it'll bring up the ticker in the screen here so now we clicked on it we close this window so now we have the apple may 19 2023 100 strike put option and here's the last bid ask price so, so today is uh saturday march 11th market is closed so this is the last prices from yesterday march 10th 2023 uh, this 100 put went out 27 bid at 30 cent offer so now if you're interested in trading this contract at least you have the the bid and ask the prices for it so you know where it's currently trading versus where the price of apple stock is trading you know options trade uh based on how the stock is moving okay so the the stock price changes the option prices will change as well so let's just say the market's open and you want to sell this put option contract all you have to do is click on the bid price just click it and it's going to create a new line here and, and it and it sets up the order for you it's telling you that you're going to sell when you click on the bid price it creates a sell order if you click on the ask price it's going to create a buy order but even if you click on the wrong thing you can always click on the buy sell and and choose whether you want to do a buy or a sell and you'll notice that the colors change as well sell is designated by red so now we're going to sell and you can choose the contract amount only one contract so all you have to do is click in each one of these boxes and it'll bring up a different uh, a drop down so if you want to do it for day only or good till canceled you can choose the instructions here so we're going to do day only limit price market price a stop all these different things you can do but for simplicity's sake all we're doing is we're going to sell one contract at a limit price and when you click here's the price box right here you're going to click in the price and you want to try to sell somewhere between 27 and 30 cents. So we're going to choose 28 cents. Okay. And once you do that, you can either hit transmit or if you want, you, you can right click over here and you can, what you always want to do prior to selling the put option is click on the check margin slash performance profile. This will bring up a new box. It's like a, another safety valve before you actually put in the order. And so you just want to double check to make sure what you're going to do. Now, this box here is the order preview box, and it's telling you what you're going to do. You got an Apple May 19th, 2023, 100 put, and you're going to sell one contract. See, it says sell one right here. Limit price of 28 cents per contract. And, it, and it's going to route it to their smart routing system. But down here is what you want to focus on. It's telling you when you, if, and when you sell this put option, you're going to collect $28. That's how much money is going to be deposited into your account. And here's your estimated commissions and your total price after commissions is down here. Okay. Focusing over here gives you the, I gives you the, the information about, you know, how your portfolio value is going to change once that, that transaction goes through. Now this is interactive brokers, paper trading, fake money account. Okay, everyone who has an interactive broker's account can also open up the paper money account. And I highly advise you doing that if you're just starting out trading options. They start you out with a million dollars. And so you can practice any strategy that you want. So here's what's going to happen. Before this order goes through, here's the current value of your portfolio. Okay, it's about a million dollars, 53,000. That's how much money is there right now. Before you make the trade, you have no margin. So when you sell put options or when you sell option contracts, you're going to be using, the, you're going to have a margin requirement. If you open up a margin account, 
um, you're going to have a margin requirement. I made another video about a video about what margin requirement is. I'm going to put that on the screen towards the end of this video. So if you want to watch that, you can. I'll also put a link to that video down in the detailed description below. But here's what happens. After you sell a put option, you're going to get about $26 net. Okay, maybe a little bit more depending on what your, your commission is going to be. And here's how much money will be in your account after the trade. So you can see from here, this amount to this amount is $26 uh, more. Because you're selling the put option, you're, you're going to get 26 extra dollars put into your account. So your account balance goes up by $26. Now here's some information that you want to concentrate on as well. When you sell a put option, there is going to be a margin requirement. The margin requirement is the amount of money that interactive brokers or whatever broker you use is going to hold aside as collateral while the trade is active. How much money is that? Interactive brokers is roughly 10% to 20%, depending on your account. Uh, for in, here, at least in the paper trading account, it's about 10% hold on your money. 10% of what, you may ask? Well, if you have to buy 100 shares of Apple, at $100 a share, that's $10,000. So, you know, when you sell a put option, you're obligating yourself to potentially buy 100 shares of that stock at that strike price. With a $100 strike price, you're going to buy 100 shares. That's a $10,000 potential outlay of cash if you have to buy these shares in the future. But, but by using the margin requirement, Interactive Brokers is only going to ask you for now to hold about $1,030 aside as collateral. So that's about 10%, just a touch above 10% of that $10,000. So you'll see here, before the trade is done, you have zero initial margin. After the trade is executed, if the trade gets executed at your 28 cent price, now you're gonna have $1,000 less available um, to use out of your million dollars. Okay, so you need to understand if you have a $5,000 account and it's going to take $1,000 of margin to sell that option, you're going to have, you know, roughly $4,000 left in your account to play with. All right. So we're not going to we're not going to use this trade. We're going to close this box. So that's the first way. If you want to get out of this, you just click right click over here and you hit discard. Okay, so that's how you set up one way how to sell put options in interact, interactive brokers. That's a part of the way that I do it now. Also, you can open up another window, um, the options chain window. So this is what's called the options chain feature in Interactive Brokers. And you can open up this window right here. I like to use this window almost more than anything because all along the top here, you can create multiple tabs for multiple stocks that you're interested in looking at. And you can quickly just, you know, go through these and it's going to pull up all the option prices for that stock calls on the left puts on the right and here's all your expiration dates and you click the more tab so you can this is a really good way to keep a lot of stocks that you're looking at in one place and checking out all their options so we're going to go to the apple screen here the apple option chain same thing we're in the may expiration and we're going to scroll down to the here's the 100 puts so once again all you have to do is click on the bid price to set up the sell order and up here, you're going to see the order line, which looked just like the one that we were using in the other window I showed you. So once again, here's the May. Um, you can open up this line a little more. So here's the April. I mean, I'm sorry, the May 23, 100 put, 27 cent bid, 30 cent ask. You're going to sell one contract. And once again, you can click in all these boxes, same thing. <clears throat> 28 cents we're going to put in here. And once again, you can, if you click transmit, or you can, let me cancel that. You can either click transmit, or you can right click here, and you can look at some of the other things. You can attach bracket orders and things like that. So check the margin. Once again, it's the same box as before. Same thing. We're doing the same trade. So you're going to get hit with the same information. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the second way. Number two, how you can sell put options at interactive brokers. So let's go back to the main screen here. Now, <clears throat> if you click on the mosaic tab, the mosaic will bring up a, a more modern looking, I should say, type of platform and information where you can have multiple windows and you can set them up exactly where you want. 
So here we also have Apple. Um, you got a little chart here. You got some uh, another watch list here with multiple tabs. <clears throat> so what you want to do here is go up to the new window and open up option chain. And you can resize this thing. Let's get out of here. Hang on for one second. Got some. I apologize about that. We had a little uh, technical internet glitch there. So we were talking about Mosaic. So we want to open up a new option chain within the Mosaic platform here. So you go up to new window and you click on option chain. Okay. So this is going to bring up the window for the actual Apple option chain and you can resize it and you can put it wherever you want. So once again, we're at the May expiration and let's scroll down to the 100 puts here. Uh, right here, let's open this up just a little bit more so it's a little bit easier to see. Once again, we click on the bid and it's going to bring up a window here. Uh, let's see, where's the, okay, so right up here, this is the order window. I don't use Mosaic that much, so just forgive me if it's, I'm going a little bit slower on this one. Here it's putting the May 100 put, we're going to sell one. And right down here is your little order line, okay, your quantity one. Oh, you can always click on it if you want to change the size. The price is going to be 28 cents. Okay. So when we hit submit and there is this a little advanced button right here for other other items along with the order. But, you know, this is very simple. We're just selling a single put option contract. So there's not much to it. Click on submit and it should bring up the once again, the 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 box here that tells you what's about to happen before you actually hit override and transmit. Now the override is, it's giving you this little warning here saying that the, the, the price that you want to sell the option for is, is beyond some limits that they've, they've set, which is not true. I don't really know why this thing's coming up, but you're all, all you know is that you're going to sell it for 28 cents and you hit override and transmit. Okay. So we're going to cancel out of that. So that's the third way now that you can sell a put option at, at interactive brokers. Now you can configure the mosaic any way you want. Let's go down now. We're down to the options trading window, which will look pretty similar to the mosaic, but they just have a they just have a a, a different configuration here. I don't know what that message was. So here you have once again a number of windows, and um, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, that's mosaic. Let's go back to the option. This is the options trading window. Now once again, you have a number of windows here. You can sell if it looks much more uh technologically uh savvy uh, compared to the classic tws that i like to use so right up here at the top is a option chain just for apple okay so you can type in any stock you want here i got a couple that defaulted from before but we're looking at apple and once again here's the option chain let's go down to the move myself here for a second let's go down to the 100 puts right here strike once again click on the bid to initiate a sell order. Click on that. And now it, it comes down to this box, which is the order window. Same thing. You got this little bar down here. Um, it's the, you're selling the May 100 put. Um, it tells you the price right here. It doesn't show you the actual name. Um, let me see here. Well, anyway, so we're gonna set a limit price of 28 cents once again. Um, there is a drop down on the submit box. So we check margin impact. Even if you hit submit, it's going to bring up the margin window. Once again, the same window. Okay. So you're starting to get, see the, the pattern here before you execute the trade, it's going to show you what's about to happen. So we looked at this a number of times. We don't have to see, we're going to close this out. So there you go. This is the, the options trading tab. This is the mosaic window where you can create mo multiple other windows. And going back to the classic TWS, the old school format that I like to follow. It looks like the old MS-DOS type of windows. That's just me. I'm too old at this point. I, it's hard for me to make changes uh, like that. So once again, here's the April 100 put. So we can track this thing during the day. And if I need to, to sell it, you know, I can always click on it and it creates the order. And right click here and click discard. Okay, so there's your four ways your four ways to create a sell put order 
window at Interactive Brokers. Once again, the two screens that I like to use, I like to use the classic TWS and the 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 op the big option chain here where you can put in lots of different stocks. That's what I like to use. Okay, so I told you earlier that I'm going to show you a um, list of brokers, a list of potential brokers um, on our website that you can look for. So if you go back to our website, smartoptionseller.com, click on the FAQs, which stands for Frequently Asked Questions. If you scroll all the way down towards the bottom, we have a list of brokers here that you can look at yourself and go to their websites and see their prices and see what their platforms look like. Interactive Brokers, Trader, Tastyworks, Thinkorswim, Charles Schwab, TradeStation, and E-Trade. Those are just some of the brokers that uh, we feel are, are you know, popular today and, and, and that are trustworthy, okay? We're, we're, we don't make any claims for them. You can decide on your own, all right? So that's on our website as well. Um, and so that, about, that should about do it. You know, it's very simple selling put options at Interactive Brokers. Now, if you, if you use a different broker, I have to believe that, you know, the entry order is pretty similar. You know, you open up the option chain, you click on the bid price, and it'll, it'll set up the sell order for you, okay? If you want to get out of the trade at any time and buy an option back, or if you want to buy an option, you just click on the offer price or the ask price, and it'll set up a buy order. It's just doing in reverse what I showed you, okay? So that's it. I hope this, this information has been helpful. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please hit that red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the video. It, it, it helps YouTube push out this video to other people that may be interested in learning how to sell put options. All right. That is all for me today. Don't forget to download or sign up for the free Put Selling Basics ebook. I hope everyone has a great trading week and a great weekend. And I'll see you all next weekend. This is Lee Lowell signing off.